Hello, I'm going to show you how to use the CNC machine as a cutting plotter. Thank you. We start the whole process by opening Core Draw the graphical sign. We want to export the cutting lines as a DXF file, all cutting lines. And what is the most important thing is the output cutting line which is surrounding the graphical design it should be a little inside the graphic so the graphic should be created a little bigger than what we need and then cut it inside and any misalignment will disappear so we create offset from the output line 1.5 millimeter which in this case is fine and we delete the line we don't need Now we select all the lines and we paste them into a new page in Core Draw. So from where we can export it into some DXF file, we name it like cutting line. The next step is to generate the G-code which is applied to the machine. One of the ways to use SolidWorks and SolidCam, of course you can do it in different ways. We create a new part, new part, and we will import DXF into this new part. Now we create a sketch which will produce the body of the part. We can technically we can import the except directly here, but I prefer to import it directly on some surface. So we select the surface and we select DXF, place DXF D D V G and we select the file we choose only the layer we want not the layer zero is not uh, containing any information so we complete the process we move the imported DXF into the area we want and now it's time to set the origin it's something which is very important for the CNC machines so from where it's starting the design and also it tells the machine which axis is X which is Y where it's moving X, where it's going Y. Uh, we have to find some area which is easy to locate, and I think this point, this square, will be easy to locate on the final label. So we say it create new reference geometry, coordinate system. We select the point and also X and Y. We have to ensure that X and Y and Z are moving in the same way as the CNC machine, in this case ZIG1. So we finish the coordinate system, we name it zero point, and we are ready. We have to save the project as well. Now we come to the last part to generate the G-code in SolidCAM. So we create a new COM part in SolidWorks. I prefer to be external. There are some advantages in doing that. So 
what we need is to select the coordinate system we already made in SOLIDWORKS I use personally modified milling G milling has 3 as post processor which is generating G code compatible with match 3 uh, so once everything is visible in solid cam we create a new milling operation profile we'll use the central line to do the cutting we generate we uh, set the cutting profile you can do it manually piece by piece but I prefer to do multi-chain because you add the whole sketch and the program will automatically select the uh, different uh, lines so you select the sketch and you generate the code we have only to ensure that the outside line is cut at the end so it should be the, the, this chain uh, chain 1 should be placed at the end so we place chain 1 at the end so when you run the G code will be cut at the end it brings some advantages not to if you cut initially this line all parts can fall apart so this will keep the whole label at 1 place okay so once this is ready we define the tool I select some tool with very thin blade uh, keep in mind that solid cam is for milling so I put something like 0.1 millimeter uh, it doesn't matter actually it's not cutting anything it's not milling it's cutting so for levels this is very important you have to measure the thickness of the film in my case is 0.25 millimeter but it depends on the case it could be different and the last thing is to go in technology and select center uh, you select rough you don't need finish because it will slow down the process and we can do one simulation to see how it's working so when you run the simulation we can see that all the lines were cut correctly and you can see also the order how which one is first which one is second now we come to the final stage now we come to the stage we generate the G code we have to ensure that M03 command is removed this is switch on the motor the spindle and also we have to take care where the head will go after the cutting so once this is done we can save as the file extension for the CNC's top but it could be something else so press save and we have the G code so we open the match 3 and we load the code which is cutting line tape so what we do is first we want to find a zero point and second we have to adjust the Z level I 
I've installed video camera on my CNC machine so I can see I can see the label magnified so I want to go to the place where is the here right so we are now at the zero point this is the origin of our design and what we do what have to do now is have a script here and when I go home when I go home actually I move the the knife over the cutting place so I can start cutting directly from this point I have installed video camera on my CNC machine so I can see I can see the label magnified so I want to go to the place where is the here right so we are now at the zero point this is the origin of our design and what we do what have to do now is have a script here and when I go home when I go home actually I move the the knife over the cutting place so I can start cutting directly from this point The Z prop detection is quite simple. There is a single PCB with no thickness. So I put it in under the knife and until it's conductive, once it touches the probe, I can measure the zero point. So there is an automatic script running. I just have to keep this under the, on the knife now detect it. So now we have the zero point and we are ready to cut the, 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 the label. So I just run the star cycle in March 3 and you can see how it's working. Oops. This is because not the label is not good on the surface. So you see it's but you can see it's not that bad. Now the LEDs.
this should be glued really well on the surface because this is adding some arrow in the cutting Okay, so this is done. So let's see what we did. So if we remove it, we have real, really well cut. a little deeper and of course this hole here I didn't fix I didn't fix the label on the surface but it's not bad and this is quite thick material so you can glue it now on the board thank you for watching